Welcome, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to create 3D model text on a curved surface. In this example here, I have a curved wall that I've created, and there are two methods of creating 3D model text that I want to show. The one on the above, on the top, is one method. The one on the below is another method. Let's take a look at how it's done. We'll start with the level one floor plan. What I did was I created a model circle for the first method. I then created model lines and individual reference planes and arrayed those lines and planes. I then went into an elevation view, created 3D model text each individual letter hosted by each individual plane. If we jump back to level one, you'll notice that if I select a reference plane, each one has a specific name. In this case, I just call each one a number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this case, for the number of letters for the text that I'm creating. Now that I've done that and I've created a 3D model text, if we just click it, and click edit text, it just says the letter C. You can see it has uh, material information and a depth. And so doing it this way, you can array the reference planes, but you cannot array the 3D model text and the reference plane off the center of the circle, if you will. Um, so what you'll need to do is you can array the reference planes, but you have to create individual 3D model text hosted on each individual plane. Once you've done that, you can then use the align command and align it vertically to a reference plane that can help you to define the height of where you want that model text to be. In this case, I've created a global height parameter uh, for the first method. And so I go into the Manage tab of the ribbon and go to Global Parameters. If I change this height to, say, 11 feet, then the reference plane will move and all of the model text that are hosted will move as well. Doing it in this first method here, the limitations are you cannot just simply create one, host it on a reference plane, and array both of them. It won't work. It won't let you array it. Also, if you try to rotate it um, with this being the center point of the circle and the center point of the rotation for the 3D model text, you can't snap to the points very well. Even if this model line is drawn all the way where the end of the line intersects with the edge of the wall, you still can't take this object and tell it to rotate it um, from one intersection to another. You'll have to eyeball it which is, you know, okay. The second limitation is what happens if the wall curve radius changes? So if I select the wall and I change the radius to something like 20 feet, does everything change? It breaks, in a sense, the location and the organization of where you want that 3D model text it is still curved and it's still on the wall. So if we go to the south elevation, the position has moved completely now. See, so it's off. So I'm going to go back to level one and I'm going to undo what I've done. So it'll take us back to the uh, original situation. Now, that's the first method. So pros and cons, it's up to you how you want to approach that one. Second method is take uh, is the one that you see down here. This method is where I actually created a generic family that is a face-based generic family. I went to um, an elevation view, or I'm sorry, a uh, reference level view, created a piece of 3D model text, just gave it a letter. That doesn't really matter because you're going to change it anyway. I went over to 
selecting it after it was created, clicking inside this little button over here, this square. And this is to allow you to associate that geometry to another parameter, which I've called text. Okay. Now, when you do this, there is a trick to it. Okay. I'm going to say none for now. If you were good to go up here into the family types window, and I'm going to delete this one for now. If you go in here and you click the icon to create a new parameter that we call text, and we make it instance based, then you've created the text parameter here, and you click OK. If you then select the 3D model text and click inside the button to associate it, if you click text and hit OK, it won't let you do it. It thinks something's off and it won't it assumes you need to type something in here. So it won't work this way. What you'll need to do is select the text, the 3D model text object. Click inside here and then click new. So it makes that link. Okay? Then you can put in here, say, text, instance-based, multi-line text, because this is a multi-line text, and click OK. Now that we've done that, it's associated. And obviously, you know, we could change it to any material that we want. And if you need to, you can go to the type properties of the model text and make it any height you want, any font that you want and things like bold or italic or so on. So let's just for fun change the font real quick to something random like that. And if we do that, it's kind of strange. Let's not use that particular font. Okay. Um, also, you might want to use the align command to align the position of the lettering, but don't lock it. And the reason I say don't lock it is because the shape of it may change if you change the style of the font. And if we load it back into the project, we can overwrite the existing family that's in there and it will update. So once that family is in there, you can place it on the face of the wall and then you can align and lock the height of it to the horizontal reference plane that I've created here. And this one has a different global height parameter. So if we change the global height parameter here, say let's make it seven feet then everything moves up in this situation the lower one when you place it obviously you can place the face based family anywhere you want on the wall okay and you can vert align it vertically just like the top method but horizontally you can't um, move it exactly where you want based upon the radius of the circle and the reference line. So let's head back over to the level one view. Um, now, I'm going to change my view range and force the cut to be at seven feet. Well, actually, go, let's go a little lower. Let's go six feet. That way I know that it's cutting the model text of the lower uh, design. And if you can see in here, if I try to take this family and I try to rotate it and place the center point as being here and rotating it so you can touch the center of that and then moving it here it won't let you do it it gives you a warning that says can't rotate element into this position so in this case you also have to uh, move your arrow key use your arrow keys to nudge the position and you're eyeballing it, if you will, okay? Lastly, if you try to, in an elevation view, create a reference plane vertically and zoom in and try to align to the reference plane vertically that piece of text, you can't do it, it won't let you do it either. So in either case, both designs, you cannot align uh, horizontally, if you will. You can align vertically. So those are the common similarity of um, hiccups, if you will, using these two methods. I prefer the secondary method is probably easier because um, if we were to change the 
radius of the wall, because right now it's at 15.4, if I change it to 20, and let it break the second method, let's head back to the south elevation. You can still see that the lower design city hall still stays with the wall, and it still stays consistently the same spacing, even though the position is off, and you'll have to readjust it um, position-wise. But at least this is a little bit more flexible because you can just place each letter wherever you need on the curved surface. <coughs> Excuse me. And then once that's placed, um, you know, you could select each piece of lettering, click inside here, and then give the name, the uh, whatever letter you need. So if I were to go back to plan view, we can put, take that wall and put it back to the original measurement. And both designs will look OK. And that's how you work with creating curved model text on a curved surface. Thank you very much for watching.